Hi everyone, it's Friday. It's time for another wine diary. It's time to open up the last bottle of Wink from my 12th box and have a little dinner. I'm so glad that you guys are here because we all know it's not healthy for Nancy to drink alone. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to see you guys, not just because it's Friday, but oh, it's just so great to see you guys. You guys are amazing and you just mean the world to me. So anyway, welcome to Friday. Welcome to my home. Welcome to another wine diary, another wink bottle of wine or yeah, another wink bottle of wine. However that sounds, it sounded, it didn't sound right. And a little dinner. So I'm so glad that you guys are here to join me. Um, I appreciate you guys so much. You mean the world to me. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. I hope everyone gives this video a thumbs up. Your comments, of course, are always, always welcome. If you are having dinner and wine tonight, I'd love to hear what you're having and what wine you're having or water or whatever kind of beverage you're having and what you're eating. It just makes it feel like we're having dinner together. And if you've got any plans for the weekend, I would love to hear what fun things you have got in store. So today we are doing my fourth bottle of Wink Wine from my, I think it's the 12th, 12th box? Either 12th or 12 or 11. We'll figure it out later. But anyway, I was so looking forward to this wine and I've just got into the habit of now that the colder weather's here and I don't, not using the refrigerator for the wines because I just get to the point where I've had a few of the wines at room temperature and they just, the, especially the red wines, the flavors just seem more vivid. They just kind of come alive more. The white wines I think I like in the refrigerator a little bit more, but the red wines, I just love them at room temperature, so I've kind of gotten the habit when my wink wine comes and Mr. FedEx man brings it up and I have to try to sign for it. And uh, yeah, I just kind of open the box, bump, 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 check the four bottles, make sure they're not broken, put it put it in the corner, and then worry about it on the day I'm going to film. And I was planning on having, I was so looking forward to this orange wine from Austria. And... That's not what they sent me. At the other wines that I opened, I wish I had planned to have that one first. I would have known it. But since I'm kind of like a month behind, it's like now it's like six weeks for me to call and say, yeah, you guys messed up and didn't send me the wine I wanted. Boo-hoo. And yeah, so you know what? I'll get over it. I'll get that wine another time. But so the wine that I'm, I just had to kind of change my plans for dinner because I was having something centered around orange wine. And so I had to kind of think quick and come up with something which I did. Alrighty, so the wine that we're having, you know, it's no sense whining about it because this is plenty of wine and I'm sure it's all good. But I have had, whoops, and that's why I don't have real candles. But anyway, this one is from the Pisolato Vineyard in Italy. It's an Italian red blend, blend Rosso Convento, and it is 50% Cabernet Sauvignon, 50% Merlot. I'm pretty sure I had this one before because I recognize the label. It's got that cute little dragonfly on it. And the dinner that I'm going to have tonight is chili because I think a chili would go good. So I made a batch of chili in the crock pot while I was working. Some of it's already in the freezer and I've got some right here. I've got some melted cheese and some sour cream on it and a garlic roll. I love these little frozen rolls because you just take one out at a time, pop it in the toaster oven, and there you go. So that's my dinner tonight with my wine. For Valentine's Day, I've got one of my Valentine's glasses. This pink tissue paper doesn't really go, but it says, I enjoy long romantic walks down the wine aisle, which I really don't have to do because I have wink wine delivered. I know, it doesn't get much better than that, right? Alrighty, so there's my glass, and here's our wine. 
again this Pisolato Italian Red Blend. So I'm looking forward to trying this. Um, I did check it out this morning for the latest the stats on it. And it still has not been tasted too many times. It's only 204 people that have had this and rated it. And it's got a 3.8 weight rating on it. Alrighty. It was just a twitch twist cap. I have no idea what is wrong with my mouth tonight. But here it is in the glass here. It's a nice deep purple. It is coating my glass rather nicely so it tells me that it's got a fairly decent. It's not as heavy as some of the others but it tells me it's got a fairly decent alcohol content. So we are going to squish this around see if we can figure out what flavors and again this has been at room temperature for about six weeks now so it's and again my heat's at 63 so it's just enough to kind of warm it up tastes good without it being cold cold alrighty uh, I smell maybe raspberry some cherry something kind of smoky maybe it's spices maybe something else alrighty cheers everyone happy Happy Friday. Mm -hmm. It was a little sip, but let me take a little bit big one. Mm. It's got a nice velvety texture. Not as maybe much as a straight Merlot. But it's got a nice texture, I'm going to say, with the Cabernet kind of mixed in. It's given, giving it a medium body. It's got some soft tannins in here. You can taste the oak that it was aged in. It's got a kind of smoky flavor to it. And I couldn't figure that out before, but I think the last few times I said it had that kind of flavor, it was bacon. So we'll see if I'm right there. I taste cherry, some maybe blackberry. I've got the feeling that I walked into the saddle shop, so like that kind of leathery type smells. I have no idea what leather has to do with wine, but you just kind of get that sensation. And it's just, it's a very nice one. I think this is going to go really good with my chili. I'm going to have another quick sip. It is, it is nice. I mean, it doesn't really dry your mouth out. You can just kind of taste the soft tannins, but it doesn't really dry your mouth out. It's just nice and smooth. Alrighty, so let me get my cheat sheet here. Alrighty, so um, let's see. I think it said it was a 2020. I didn't write it down on my cheat sheets. But we will worry about the year later. Not important, right? Alrighty, so rated 3.8. <coughs> Sorry about that. Rated 3.8 out of the 204 people that have rated it. It says it's bold, smoky, and organic. It's got a medium body, dry, and 12%. So like I said, it didn't really coat the glass, but it does have a little bit of a kick to it with the alcohol. Tasting notes of bacon, cherry, leather, and raspberry. It says a natural Merlot cab blend that's organic, vegan, and has no detectable sulfites. And I know some people say it's the sulfites in wine, which I thought occurred naturally, but they say that's why some people get headaches from the sulfites. So if you suffer from headaches from wine because of the sulfites, then maybe check out this Pizzolatto red blend. Alrighty, so it says the humble dragonfly has been a symbol for many cultures over the years of strength, courage, and happiness. The Pizzolato family has been producing wine for five generations on their plot of land in the Veneto, north of Trevisio. They have always used organic production methods. It says this wine is made from the natural way. A blend of 50% Cabernet Sauvignon and 50% Merlot. The Rosa Convento is a medium bodied red that has abundant notes of jammy fruit, leather, and dried herbs. <coughs> Sorry about that. I still have a cold. I don't even know how long it's been, but I'm not going to worry about it. It says, um, uh, say a hint of earth and fine grain tannins make this a delight to pair with red sauce and packed with ripe vegetables from the garden. 
how to serve it it says decant if i was serving it with company i would love to put this in a nice decanter and let it sit for a while but i am going to put the cap on and enjoy this wine another day so i'm not going to decant it it says it pairs well with pork mexican pasta with red sauce or barbecue so i thought chili was a way to go so anyway i am going to enjoy my dinner i hope that you enjoy your dinner and have a fab fabulous fabulous weekend take care everyone stay safe be kind be happy enjoy life have some fun i love you guys and we will see you in our next video bye bye